Hey, what's up? I'm Allie, I'm 26, and I never learned how to code. Cool, okay, so what am I gonna talk about? I am talking about MIT, why MIT is not a good school in regards to learning how to code and why you should be going to college, I guess. Just as a disclaimer, I am not making this video to undermine MIT as an educational school, nor to undermine the experiences that other people had at MIT. I am simply just talking about some of the observations that I had, some of the frustrations I had as a student at MIT, and to talk about the good, the bad, and the ugly about MIT. And before you ask, Many people are like, oh, Ali, would you go back to MIT again? Yes, in a heartbeat. If I had all the knowledge I had now and the ability to go back to MIT, I would 100% drop everything and go back to MIT. All expenses paid, of course. To start off, I went to MIT. I have a bachelor's degree in computer science and electrical engineering, as well as a master's of engineering in the same field. And if you're like, oh my God, like, how do we know that you really went to MIT? You don't look like an MIT student. Like, as you can see, I do have a brass rat. Um, yeah. So MIT is not a good school. What? No. MIT is not a good school to learn how to code. MIT is a great school to learn how to think like an engineer, to think like a computer scientist, to learn theory, to learn mathematics, to learn how to think. But if you want to just learn straight up how to start coding, how to engineer an entire project from ground up, you will not get that at MIT. You're not going to learn about implementing a MySQL database and how to debug that. You're not going to learn about React and all of the different pieces of React and figuring out how routers work in Express. MIT is going to teach you the theory behind it. For example, understanding concurrency, understanding semaphores in threaded programming, algorithms, how systems are architected, but you're not going to learn necessarily the most modern practices. For example, my security course, we were talking about papers that were 20 years old at the time, more than 20 years old. And that's not going to teach you the modern skills that you need to be successful in the world of coding. Coming into MIT, I already had an advantage compared to my peers in that I knew the basics, the fundamentals of how to program because I had taken coding in high school. But soon I realized that there were other people there who were just so many more levels above me, which is common. People will always be worse than you and people will always be better than you. And I'm always saying, find the people that are better, befriend them and learn how they think, learn how they understand. What seems very trivial to them might be absolutely mind blowing to you. So I started taking computer science. You know, I took that 601. I remember the robots. I remember very vividly that summer after I took 601, someone dragging a 601 robot across the bridge. Like they're very big, they move. Once I got more into sophomore year, I started getting into hackathons. And that's where my entire perspective of engineering changed. 2014 at this point, when there weren't that many hackathons, you were traveling across the United States to go to all these different events. And I was meeting people from all different majors who had all different levels of coding skills. And what I learned is just how big my gap in, in engineering truly was. I had a lot of theory, but not a lot of practical knowledge. But these peers I was meeting, they were chemical engineers, business major, designer, coming together to make really awesome projects. And it was really hard for me coming from MIT to see just how much knowledge I was lacking in order to build a project from the ground up. I could talk about algorithms, data structures, the best methods to store things, but when it came to actually implementing, I was at an absolute loss and it was really, really frustrating. And I realized that MIT teaches you how to think like an engineer, but MIT does not teach you how to be an engineer. When I was at M MIT, a lot of the classes assumed you had knowledge of how to code. For example, there was this one course that required writing in C. We never learned how to code in C. They just were like, you need to know how to write in C, period. Like to take this course, like you will be writing in C, good luck. And I would have loved to take that course, but at the time I had no knowledge of C and I did not have the like mental capacity to deal with having to struggle through learning an entire new language, especially such a low level language, while also dealing with everything else that was happening in my life. 
And that was a, an eye-opening experience. When I was talking to students younger and younger, they were like, oh, I don't know if I wanna study computer science. Like, I really like this other field too, blah, 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 but I also really like coding. And I, and I would always say, listen, take the courses you wanna take, study, the field you want to study because computer science learning how to code is something that you learn on your own you do not learn how to put together a program through mit mit teaches you how to think but if you're really keen on learning how to write programs create digital apps just do it in your own time some of the most amazing engineers I know now either did not go and study computer science, they didn't even go to college. Everything they learned on their own or what they learned in college isn't even what they're doing now. I became a better coder after I graduated MIT and started having to make real projects for work than what I did during MIT. MIT engineers will not be helpful within the first three months. Give them six months to a year, they will flourish and be that thought leader, that brain that you need on your team. So. MIT is a fantastic school to go to learn to think, to learn about theory, to learn about research. But MIT is not the school for you if you want to just learn how to code. Maybe try a code school, learn on your own, study the things that you love. This is something I've had on my mind for a really long time and I'm glad I got to share it with you all. If you want to talk to me more about learning how to code or tell me your thoughts, you know, just drop them down below in the comments. I will definitely be checking them. Feel free to DM me on Twitter. My Twitter is at ending with Allie. I am actually at ending with Allie on everything, including Minecraft. So follow me on TikTok, Instagram, Twitter, you know the gish. Next video, I don't know when, this one took me months to get out. GL, GL, good luck, have fun, don't die, bye. God, I I am obsessed with what I'm wearing today. Spiky bracelet on check, spiky earring on check. Let me show you my shoes. Oh! <laughs>